Hi, thanks for watching this video, and I'm going to be showing you a review on the iPod Touch 2G 3.0 Beta 3 firmware. First thing I'm going to talk about is the, the well, basically, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, it's eight. I'm just going to prove that it is 3.0. 3.0. So there you are. Just go and if you don't have it, then go and check out my video on how to get it. You can still downgrade from 3.0. I've done it plenty of times. Well, not plenty of times. Once. But go ahead and do it. Um, I'll put a link, or I'll put an annotation somewhere along the or on the screen. So go ahead and check that out. Um, the only changes to the settings has been the Bluetooth and the home. Home is when you when you double click the home button, so that thing right there you can't see it. Mm, there you can. Um, the, this is what it will do. Like this is what you can go to after you double click it. So you can go home. Um, that's it for settings. Uh, the store I don't know what that is, but whatever. Okay, so mail. Um, as you can see, there has been a search bar added, so you can search throughout your entire mailbox, and also, it's gone into landscape mode, so, very cool. Uh, the next thing, um, is photos. Um, the only thing that has changed in photos has been that the menu changes as along like when it goes in the landscape so see there it is um contacts all it is is a search bar that's that's all that's changed from what i know um youtube sorry this review is very quick i just want to keep it under the ten minute time limit so um, for YouTube, there's a sign-in, so you can sign into your YouTube account, and you can view your inbox, your videos, your subscriptions, anything, so, very cool. Stocks. There's a new icon, um, they change the icon, and when you go into landscape mode, it, it brings up the graph, so it's going two years time, well, two years, over two years. Uh, one day. So there you go. Um, whether voice memos. I don't know why they put a voice memos app on here. Um, I don't really see a point to it. But if you have, <coughs> <coughs> um, if you have the Apple microphone or the earphones with the microphone in it then it can be useful um, I'm probably gonna get a pair of them so yeah so notes um, I'm not really a notes kind of person personally but other people are and if they have a lot of notes like they have they can scroll through all their notes um, then they can easily search to whatever note they have written down so there we are and also notes has gone in landscape all the keyboards, I'm pretty sure, have gone landscape. So, yeah. Now, one thing everyone has wanted. Copy and paste. So, select all. Copy. That has been copied. Let's delete all that. Paste. And there you go. And take your iPod, shake it, undo paste, shake it again, um, undo typing, redo typing, and redo paste. So, very cool. Um, you can do that anywhere. You can do it on Safari, um, Mail, anywhere. The next thing is I'm pretty sure 
media. So basically, when you play a song, hold on, uh, I'll find one. Don't really notice anything, but when you go to go here, it highlights the bar, like it the ball. So slide your finger down to just scroll in. Oh, you can uh, instead of just like you can choose how fast you want to scroll instead of right. I don't really know how to put it, but, yeah. Um, the last thing is Spotlight. You can search anything from your iPod, so I'll search for another song. Um, trying to think of one. Um, Afterlife. Afterlife, so, play that. And the search comes up really quick, I find. So it'll save your search. Let's search a mail entry. Kijiji. And it brings up your mail. Go back, save your entry. Let's go up to an application. Oh, sorry. Facebook. It'll bring up the application. So, overall, I think Apple. Oh, and by the way. Um, when you download an application from the App Store, it will come up on the other page, like it won't bring two applications right there. Um, I like that. I like, I like the style of it. Um, I don't know why, but I do. Um, <clears throat> overall, I think Apple has done a great job on their firmwares. Um, I've seen a bunch of reviews on the iPhone. Um, just seeing the iPod Touch 2G, um, I think they did a fabulous job. And if you like this review, um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And also, if you want this firmware, just click on the screen again. I'll put another annotation. And be sure to subscribe for more. Thank you. Hi, thanks for watching. And if you would like to get the 3.0 firmware, for the iPod Touch 2G, watch my other video, and trust me, it'll work. So be sure and check that out. I will put an annotation on the screen right now. So be sure to check that out, and thanks again, and also subscribe.